Have you ever wondered what it'd be like if Lush did brunch? In today's video, we are gonna explore just that. We're gonna take a look at the more like breakfasty <laughs> items on the Lush menu and we're gonna give them a go. It's gonna be really fun. I feel like a lot of us have been missing brunch lately and this is a nice way to kind of like treat yourself and infuse like spa with brunch and really get that hit you've been craving from both of them all in one. Feel free to grab yourself a cup up because we are going to start with drinks. Would you like a glass of orange juice or a cup of coffee? Yeah, you can't actually drink these, but I have a couple of scrubs here for starting off with a drink. First up, we have orange. This is a scrub. And we have cup of coffee, which is a face and body mask, which is also kind of like scrubby-like. Let's start off with orange. This is definitely like a brunch drink for me. I feel like I don't really drink orange juice much, but when I do, it's such a treat. And the ingredients in this shower scrub includes like the whole orange they actually use orange peel as well and that's protects the skin from environmental elements and also leaves it smooth and radiant i really love this scrub like all of the lush scrubs are just really nice and really like <laughs> scrubby you know sometimes you get a scrub and it feels just so weak and like it's not buffing away any dead skin whereas with like the lush scrubs i find them just absolutely gorgeous like oh, look at that honestly it's so nice the texture of it is so lovely and it is really good for buffing away the skin and the smell as well like orange is a really good uplifting scent it's actually really helpful to use your like beauty products to really mood boost you i know you guys are aware that i like to avoid fragrance in a lot of my skincare but when it comes to like a body scrub or something because it's on the skin for so little time i don't mind using a bit of fragrance there and this would just put me in such good spirits in the morning so all these products i actually got sent through from lush but this is a new product and it is worth £10 for a pot this size. Yeah, I'm a fan. I think it's really lovely and uplifting. And also vitamin C is so good for brightening your skin as well. So I am a fan of this. But this has been a fan favourite of mine for quite a while. This smells just like a cup of coffee. Obviously, it uses a lot of coffee in it. It also contains deep cleansing kaolin from Cornwall, which has a fine dry consistency and gently exfoliates the skin. It's also got a little bit of syrup in there as well for sweetness. You are meant to use this as a mask so you'll put it over your face you'll put it over your body and you can leave it there for like 10 to 15 minutes i feel like it's kind of personal preference whether or not you want to like rub the scrub in as you're putting the mask on or if you want to do it after as you're taking the mask off or if you want to do it in between so yeah it's a beautiful mask but i find that i do often most use it as like a very short mask and like body scrub so i'll like massage it in my body and like literally do the full body treatment and then by the time i'm done scrubbing down my whole self it will have been on for a little while but probably not 10 to 15 minutes especially when you're like doing your whole body i find like i'm not just gonna stand there for 10 minutes but i am a big fan of this but maybe i use it more as like a face and body scrub rather than a like total mask oh, i just love this one so much this does cost nine pounds for 150 grams which is this size but because it's face mask if you take back like five empty pots you can get this free and i'd say this is probably my favorite face mask they do have lots of lovely face masks but i just love the coffee scrub i love the smell of it as well i just can't get enough of this and yeah, I feel like this is definitely the like two leading brunch drinks. You got coffee and you got orange. So that is the start of our brunch sorted. This is such a weird theme for a video, isn't it? I'm going to keep rolling with it. So next up, we're going to assume you've ordered toast for your brunch. And now we've just got to decide toppings. So it's not often you'll find me recommending eggs on this channel. However, today we have a couple from Lush for you to have on your toast. <laughs> Oh my god, these smell so good. So here we have the Eggy Weggy Bath Bomb, as you can tell by all the fried egg decorations on it. And over here, we have the Golden Egg Bath Bomb Melt. Okay, let's start by taking a look at this. Oh, my fingers are so shimmery. That was not a good idea. Oh, we're just gonna have to deal with that now. So fitting with the brunchish theme, this is definitely a more like morning bath bomb. If you like to have a morning bath like on your weekends, this is just so full of uplifting scents. You've got spearmint oil, you've got like uplifting Sicilian lemon oil. Mm, it does just smell like very ready to start the day. And I do find it very weird that they've gone with fried eggs as decorations. I think this must be an Easter special. Yeah, this is limited edition for Easter and it costs $4.95. I hope I don't put you off with like the spearmint comment because there is a little bit of mint in here. I'm not normally a fan of minty scents, but I still think this smells gorgeous. It makes them feel like mornings, like lemons in the morning are really uplifting and like 
sharp and awakening whereas like spearmint as well very sharp and awakening that reminds you of like brushing your teeth in the morning and i like this i am looking forward to dropping it in my bath okay your other eggy option is this very sparkly golden egg bath melt this one uses fair trade organic cocoa butter and also brazilian orange oil so this will leave your skin feeling so moisturized and i imagine kind of sparkly i am actually someone that loves a lush sparkle but i know a lot of people like to avoid these products let me know down below whether or not you love these or hate these because it definitely is a divider god this smells so good again this is fitting with that like kind of like morning orange theme if i were actually going out for a really lovely brunch with the girls i would possibly use this before you know when you prep yourself for the bath bomb for going out this would just leave you like shimmering and smelling delicious i really rate this i actually really love the scent i would love it as a perfume i don't know would it be too orangey let me know if you are aware if this is a lush perfume i know like a lot of their scents get like recycled everywhere yeah <laughs> my fingers are just so glittery mm, i really love it and i can't wait to use that i and see just how shimmery I am afterwards. I love their sparkly ones. So this is definitely like one of my favorites from this little haul. And it will be the egg I will be choosing to enjoy on my toast at this lush brunch. So don't worry if you don't like egg, there is always the option of avocado on toast. Like how fun is this? This is actually soap. It was really fun when I showed the shader, she was like, oh, is that for the bathroom or the kitchen? I'm like, both. And it's cute and like, got this little golden thing here that seems very fixed in i'm not going to try and force that my sister's pregnant right now as well and her baby is like the size of an avocado so it's really weird to think that's in her belly i think this is bigger than the average avocado to be honest this soap as you can imagine contains organic avocado oil they source theirs from central kenya again it's kind of got that zesty scent to it i don't know if it's just like absorbed that from the other products in the box let me double check oh no no it is meant to smell zesty and it's just gonna be really nice and hydrating on the hands. I find that like, especially these days where we're washing our hands so, so much, and also like all the anti back we're using, it's just like really super drying for our hands. So it's really good to have a nice moisturizing soap that you can use at home when you actually get the chance to wash your hands at home. Just make sure it's a nice little treat for your hands. So I'm really looking forward to putting these in the bathroom and the kitchen. I actually worry it might be too big for our soap dishes, but yeah. So that is your avocado on toast option. Now we're on to our brunch dessert. So maybe you just want a little bit of fruit for dessert. So you might opt for this sweet orange pumice power. I've never used this product before. I'm very intrigued by it, but it's kind of like a, um, a foot scrubber. I imagine this will work best if you kind of like soak your feet in a little tub, then after like five, 10 minutes, you get this pumice stone and then you just like scrub all in one direction. So scrub, scrub. <laughs> scrub it's meant to be really good for getting off your dead skin which i think is really interesting and just very good for this time of year the weather's getting warmer feet are coming out but nail bars are still closed so my feet aren't looking their best right now every little help helps i actually do use a pumice stone like not the lush one just a regular stone and i think it works wonders and i think that's a really sustainable way of like looking after your feet and maybe i'll do a little like video or post on instagram about like foot care and stuff that i use because i feel like we're coming into that season like let me know if that would be of interest i don't know people also get weirded out about seeing feet like on the internet or in person or wherever so let me know if that sounds really helpful or your worst nightmare i think is the important thing here but this does cost only five pounds i'd be interested to see how long it lasts it does feel like very condensed like it's really hard it feels heavier than a bath bomb would of this sort of size so i am excited to give it a go yeah as much as i love that foot scrub i definitely just prefer my regular pumice stone i find that this really gets rid of hard skin like my feet need that extra like brush and this is just so good and obviously super sustainable as well i just like use the same rock and you just it's just the same sort of motion i'm not gonna do another demo but as much as i love that i think i would recommend an actual pumice stone rather than their foot scrub it did feel like a nice treatment it left my feet feeling very like soft and nourished which was nice so i feel like it is a nice like follow-up treatment after using one of these but for getting rid of dead skin, nothing compares to a proper pumice stone. Also, another video idea. Let me know if you guys would enjoy this. But I was thinking I might do a video based on my favourite lash products for £5 or under. I do love lash. But I know the products are quite expensive. So if you guys would like to see my favourites for £5 or under, I'd be happy to do that. But if you're not one for fruit, for dessert, if you want a bit of a cake, don't you worry. We have this Funfetti Cake Lip Scrub. So this lip scrub is meant to just taste like cake. It smells like cake. It actually has icing sugar in it which probably helps it smells so good it's also got lemon oil vanilla fine sea salt shea butter 
jojoba oil, caster sugar. I love their lip scrubs and I am someone who bites their lips a lot so I do need to take care of my lips and I've actually recently run out of lip scrubs so this has come at the perfect time. I just love this, it tastes delicious. I definitely find scrubbing your lips, it can feel like a difficult thing to work into your routine, it just feels like a little unnecessary but when scrubbing your lips is this delicious you just can't help yourself. So that is how we are ending off our Lush brunch. It's been very zesty, it's been very sweet but we did get some coffee in here. All in all, I've had a lot of fun. Yeah, I definitely recommend ordering yourself some like really zesty, uplifting things to enjoy while salons are still closed, whilst we're still really stuck indoors. Yeah, it's good to take some time out and treat yourself. And I'm sure I'll be sharing more of these products on my Instagram if you want to see more of any of those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was about to say, I hope you're enjoying the nice weather, but I think between me filming this and this coming out, the nice weather will have gone. I hope you have a lovely Easter and have enjoyed seeing some of the Easter products slash have on sale this year. My room smells absolutely gorgeous right now. I'm loving all the zest. Please do hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, especially if you like Lush. I'm often doing Lush hauls and reviews and things like that. So you'll love it here, basically. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.